So let's talk about that Browns team. Uh, it's not Jarvis Landry, but it's my next bounce back player. It's Odell Beckham Jr. And people look at his season last year like he absolutely fell off the rails and was terrible. And yes, from a fantasy football perspective, he kind of was. He finished as the wide receiver uh, 26, which is outside of that wide receiver two range. But he had 74 catches and over 1,000 yards on an incredibly dysfunctional Cleveland Brown offense. So the fact that he still went over 1,000 yards and people are leaving Odell Beckham Jr. for dead just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, you also have to remember that in Cleveland last year, he played through that core muscle injury that likely should have had him out for – um, a long period of time. He had surgery on that once the season ended. Um, and, you know, I, I look at Odell Beckham. He's currently being drafted as the wide receiver 12. Um, just from the track record we've seen from him in his career in the New York Giants offense, which is not going to be as good, in my opinion, as the Browns will be in 2020, he has the ability to be a top five, if not a top one wide receiver. In 2014, as a, in 2014 as a rookie, he was the wide receiver seven and only played 12 games. In 2015, he was wide receiver five in 15 games. In 2016, wide receiver four. He missed most of the 2017 season. And then in 2018, he was the wide receiver 16 in just 12 games. So the recurring theme here is the injury risk. I know we just talked about T.Y. Hilton and some of the perceived injury risk with him. I think it's real with Odell Beckham. That's kind of the one knock against him is that he's missed 21 games in just six seasons in the NFL. But currently being drafted as the wide receiver 12, like, give me Odell Beckham over Adam Thielen, Cooper Cup, DJ Moore, Allen Robinson all day long. Those are the guys being drafted in that same area. With Kevin Stefanski in town as the head coach, the offense is going to improve in 2020. I have Baker Mayfield as another really strong bounce back candidate. And when I look at that 2019 season, all sorts of things went wrong. I mentioned the core injury. Another thing, Odell Beckham had a 56% catch percentage. That is the fourth worst of players with over 100 targets. So if you're looking at your guys that are getting volume in the league, he was the fourth worst in terms of passes that he actually caught. That's absolutely brutal. I don't know who's to blame for that. I don't know if it's the injury. I don't know if it's Freddie Kitchens. He seems to be the scapegoat for everything in Cleveland right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's Baker Mayfield, but that 56% catch percentage will go up in 2020, undoubtedly. Um, Steph, it's your Browns. Tell me, what do you think? Am I on the right track here with Odo Beckham? I think he's the kind of guy with the upside, with the skill set to finish as a wide receiver one. And when I'm drafting a receiver this early, I want the biggest upside possible. I'm with you. I, I love Odell as a bounce back candidate. I don't think we're we're swinging the pendulum back the other way far enough. Like you said, the wide receiver 12, but I look at other names that are there. It's like, you know, Allen Robinson, yeah, he'll be probably a little bit more consistent, but does he have that upside, that OBJ upside just to take over, uh, you know, incredible catches in the end zone, in the red zone, uh, and look too early and often, even last year when we had, you know, Jarvis Landry kind of as the, the fallback option, the safety valve in that Freddie Kitchens offense. I think, I think Stefanski is going to use Odell properly. I think we look at like, we can't just copy and paste everything over from the Vikings when Stefanski was there, but look at what even what Stefan Diggs was doing unlimited volume, but incredible uh, touchdown rate. Uh, I love Odell there. He was actually in the top. I believe it was top 10 in air yards last year. Um, so assume, you know, he gets a couple more catches and that completion percentage goes up. I think there will be a ton of value and in, in fantasy viability from OBJ. I don't want people to think I'm saying Odell Beckham will finish as the wide receiver one. I have him right around seven or eight right now. I think he's outside of that tier that has Michael Thomas, you know, Adams, Julio Jones, Tyreek Hill, DeAndre Hopkins. But Odo Beckham's right there in that next tier for me, right at the top. So um, I, I really think if he stays healthy, he should be a top eight fantasy football wide receiver in 2020. Um, but that's going to be the big question. Can he play 16 games?